I, 34F, strongly feel my husband, 37M, hasn't forgiven my past affair and no longer loves me. I've been with my husband for almost 15 years, married 11 of them, and we have two young boys together. The reasons for my divorce have absolutely nothing to do with my husband and have absolutely nothing to do with how I feel about him. I cheated for selfish reasons and I deeply regret it every single day of my life. After I became 30, I grew unsatisfied with my life since I had spent my 20s either in a committed relationship or as a single mother of two young children. I was also troubled by the notion of being just another stay-at-home mom of my children. To avoid having a conversation about it with my husband, I went on a hunt for excitement outside of my marriage. There isn't much significance in the facts other than the fact that he was a local friend we'd known for a couple of years, that it lasted for about seven months before becoming physical for the final four months, and that it lasted for about seven months before becoming physical for the final four months of the relationship. In the end, my husband uncovered the truth when he got suspicious of my behavior, even though the affair had been finished for a couple of weeks at the time of his discovery. Many fights ensued over the next month or two, including my apology, not sleeping in the same bed, threats of divorce, and statements that the relationship was finished, among other things. Our discussion resulted in the conclusion that it wasn't enough to separate us, that we would be able to overcome our difficulties, and that the experience will seem like a distant memory in few years. We discussed marriage counseling, but he rejected at every point, stating that I don't want anyone knowing my business, whether it was a stranger or a friend. We've now been together for two years, and our relationship seems to be completely different from what it was before to my affair. We had to wait a time for our life to get back on track after the affair, but it's never been the same since. It's never seemed as passionate or love-filled as it used to be. I don't get the sensation that he's cold towards me. Rather, there's something missing. He's entirely halted all types of PDAs, which even our friends have noticed. Little moments like snuggling on the couch seem to happen very sporadically anymore, and it's never for too long before he moves away. I've been concerned about him since he had an endoscopy in January because he was feeling terrible stomach pains, which is troubling since his father died at the age of 30 from bowel cancer, and stomach cancer is a family trait. I didn't find out about any of this until many days later, and it has been nagging at me ever since. He was fortunate in that he acquired ulcers and is now receiving treatment for them. When he gets stomach pains, I know he is worried and panics. When he is in the hospital, I know he is terrified and panics. But he has decided to go through this on his own. He didn't even tell me he was having stomach problems in the week before opting to go to the doctor, which tells me he's lost something important inside of him. We haven't told anybody in our personal life about anything that's going on, so I don't have someone to seek advice from. I'm not sure what kind of assistance I'm searching for, so any suggestions or pointers would be really helpful. Thank you so much for your assistance. Story 2. Cheating Husband While Pregnant The long story short is that I caught my husband with a collection of phones, which he was allegedly using to connect with this. his apology, was always sincere whenever he was detected, but he never showed me what he was talking about on the phone. He's always maintained that it's simply a friendship and that all we do is talk. A woman who works from home, cooks, cleans, washes, and takes care of her children in every way is who I am. Nevertheless, you wouldn't want to talk with someone else. Our chats are the best, and our is just amazing. We all adore sports and have a lot in common, so let's get started. What's the worst that might happen? I got pregnant because it was something we had dreamed for for a long time, and it was finally happening for us. It was something we spoke about. The news came to us that we were expecting twins. We were both thrilled, and I had also gained a great deal of knowledge. As a consequence, I discover another phone that he had unblocked in front of me after erasing everything, and I find myself in the same situation again. I recognized the code he was using and kept an eye out for it. As far as I'm aware, he never reported getting caught with the phone again since the girl never phoned or texted that phone number. My first pregnancy was characterized by incessant bleeding as a result of the stress, photographs that I found she had been sending him, and the loss of one of the children. When I found myself in a state of severe sadness, I couldn't help but point the finger at him. For the sake of my children, I was able to find a way to move on and return to my life. The events that were unfolding around me were beyond my comprehension. My suspicions were confirmed last week when I realized something wasn't quite right, something just didn't match up. Drinking with his friends was always a regular event for him until he began getting home later and taking longer to get home. While he was in the shower, 
I went around the house looking for his phone and discovered it in his car. Inside, I scurried to the bathroom and shut the door behind me. I was able to unlock the phone using the password that I had previously seen. My heart skipped a beat, I choked up with surprise, and I burst into tears. What I was reading and seeing did not make any sense to me at the time. And I can't wait to spend more time with you and get to know you better. He had been having an extramarital affair for the previous five slash six months, seeing naked images of them at hotels. Photos that they've shared is a common occurrence. Reading about how he was going to leave me after I had the child made me feel a little better. Even worse, she got pregnant and had an abortion as a result. I couldn't even get my thoughts together. Everything that I had believed was taking place, I was able to see with my own eyes. This young lady is eight years younger than you, according to her age. She has a much larger than I do, and she had hers done. There were times when I couldn't believe what I was seeing, and I had no clue how I was going to confront him. Our children were in school and Dad was getting ready to go for the day at the office. He questioned as to where I was going and what I was doing. I told him I couldn't because I knew he was lying about her and that I couldn't do it. He was perplexed as to why. Do you have any evidence to support your claim? Have you been able to locate the phone? I promise you that it is insignificant. I said that I was completely unaware that you possessed a phone. I left and sent all of the photographs to myself before passing them on to him through a separate email account. I told him they were just friends. He wouldn't stop calling and apologizing for what he'd done so I ordered him to get thee out of my house and leave me alone. The fact that he knew he'd been caught meant that he couldn't say anything. There was no denying what I had seen or what he'd done. I was able to gather my thoughts and drive back to my house. He apologized profusely bowed his head, and expressed disbelief that he had harmed me in this way, amongst other things. That he wishes he hadn't been there when I accomplished anything. I messaged the jerk I didn't receive anything back from her but I made it clear that I would contact her husband and wreck up her life in the same way she had messed up mine. I haven't done anything along those lines. For the first time in 16 years, I actually want to get away from it all. My husband and I have been married for 16 years. I'm completely at a loss on what to do. Of course, he's been one of a kind. I keep track on his phone calls and movements, but when he was with her, he always switched off the monitoring. The thought crossed my mind. Would the man have stopped had I not been detected, or would he have continued until I gave birth to the child? Then you should consider divorcing me. Please accept my apologies for my writing and rambling sentence. Story 3. Is this cheating? Anyway, long story short, I ended my relationship with my terrible girlfriend for a variety of reasons. She was not even close to wifey material. She was heartbroken and told me a tale about how much she loved me and such such things. One of the reasons was that she engaged in what I term emotional infidelity. Essentially, I was having lengthy conversations with other people, keeping a few guys close, and basically building a lineup of guys for when I broke up with her. She did this to her prior boyfriend, and she did it to her previous boyfriend with me. Of course, her deceptive, people-pleasing nature had me misled at the time. But a week after I left her, the hash one man on her team is almost living at her home. It's as if nothing had changed, as if she merely plug and play with males. In my view, if you have a list of potential suitors ready, you are not really committed to the relationship. That is, in my opinion, cheating. You can't treat every man the same way you treat me. Is it possible that I'm insane? I have the impression that I strive to find the good in everyone, yet I dated a rotten egg. I'm so relieved I got out of it. But what are everyone's perspectives on the subject? That is just the top of the iceberg but it is a ticking time bomb.